Shane here with TechScan, and in this video, I want to show you how to analyze maximum anticipation or MIP in T-Scan. The first thing we're going to look at is we're going to look at this total force line, this black line right down here. When I'm looking to see is do I have a nice smooth black line that shows up here, or do I have a line that goes up and drops pretty quickly, which could indicate muscle fatigue, or do I have a black line that has more of a jaggedy edges to it, which could indicate muscle disharmony. In this particular case, we have a nice smooth black line. So I'm gonna drag this gray bar to uh, MIP, and then we're gonna look, we're gonna focus the rest of this video on the 2D view. There's a couple of things that we're looking at in the 2D view. The first thing is left to right balance. Do we have a good left to right balance, which ideally should be in a 45 to 55% range. You can see in this particular movie, they have a little bit more force on the right side than the left side, and they're a little bit outside that 45 to 55% range. The next thing we're gonna look at is uh, tooth percentages. We're gonna look at the molars, the premolars, and the anterior separate. So molars, I'm looking for anything that's above 18%. You can see number two and number 15 are above 18%. So those are two areas that um, you might want to look at, analyze, and see if you have any signs or symptoms or something going on in those particular areas that would be a cause of concern. The next area is premolars. Uh, we're looking for anything above 10%. And in this particular case, everything looks pretty good here. Nothing's above 10%. And the last part is the anterior, which is K9 to K9. We're looking for anything above 5%. And there really isn't anything above 5% here as well either, so that looks pretty good. The last thing I look at here is the, what we call center of force, this uh, red and white kite with a tail behind it. Ideally, you want to see the center of force start somewhere in the, in the middle and end somewhere in the middle. Um, in this particular case, you can see that the tail uh, ends towards the right, but it actually starts on the left side. So this tail behind it kind of shows you where it starts. So as the patient bites down, the forces shift towards the right, but this could indicate that there's potentially some early interferences that are going on on the left side. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, let us know.